transferring files from Security Center using the Genetech Clearance plugin. The Genetech Clearance plugin can be installed on a Security Center system so Security Desk users can create and upload video recordings to a new case, upload video to an existing case, or upload unassociated files. Case information for new cases can be added as well, such as the incident number, record number, incident time, and description. The Genetech Clearance plugin is installed on a Security Center server and any client workstation that will be working with Genetech Clearance. We recommend installing the plugin on an expansion server so there is little to no impact on the main directory server. Before setting up the Genetech Clearance plugin, you'll need to have the server the plugin will run on installed and connected, have the software downloaded to the server and client machines, and have a Genetech Clearance service available. You'll need to be an administrator on the clearance account you'll be connecting to a security center so you can create a service to link the two together. Looking at security, all video and files imported into clearance are automatically encrypted using the AES-256 cipher. The HTTPS protocol and TLS certificates are used to encrypt communication data, and the SHA-256 signature algorithm is used to detect any attempts to modify the data and ensure the integrity of the files. Within Security Center, user privileges can be configured to restrict who can export video to clearance. Before installing the plugin, there are a few system requirements that must be considered. The plugin is available for Security Center systems running version 5.5 to 5.7, and workstations should meet the recommended hardware specifications. Check the system requirements document if you need more information on the recommended hardware. As all the data is encrypted while at rest and while in transit, port 443 must be opened for Security Center to communicate with the Genetech Clearance Cloud Service. The plugin is a licensed component of Security Center and must be included in your system license before it will be operational. Please contact your sales representative if you need more information on adding this component to your system. The plugin installation is very simple. We recommend installing the plugin on an expansion server so it will not affect the performance of the main directory server and should be installed on any workstation that will be interacting with clearance. On the server and workstations, simply download the clearance plugin from the product download page of the GTAP and run the executable file to unzip the contents to a folder. Open the extracted folder, which is c colon backslash genetech by default, and run the setup.exe file as an administrator. Follow the installation prompts and click Finish when it is complete. The Genetech Server Service must be restarted after the installation is complete, which can be done as part of the installation wizard or manually if this is something that needs to be scheduled. In case you want the plugin role to fail over to a second server when the primary plugin server is not available, the clearance plugin software must be installed on the second server as well. After installation, any open config tool and Security Desk client applications should be restarted as well. Once the plugin software has been installed, the plugin role will need to be configured in Security Center. Before doing this, the Genetech clearance service the plugin will be connecting to must be configured as well. The service is a way to authenticate the communication between your Security Center system and your account on the Genetech clearance service. You must be an administrator on your clearance account to be able to add a service user. Log into Clearance, and from the menu on the left side, choose Configurations. With the Users tab selected in the main window on the right, click on the plus icon and choose Service. Enter a name for the service, choosing something relevant so you know that this is the service connecting to your Security Center system. You can also choose a set of user groups below, which determines who can access the video from your Security Center system if it has not been assigned to a case. Click on Save, then click on the Download Configuration button on the top right. This will save a .json file to your local machine, which contains the information needed by Security Center to identify and connect to your clearance account. Let's jump back over to our config tool to create the plugin and complete the configuration. From either the plugins task or the roles section of the system task, add an entity and choose the plugin type. Make sure it's the orange plugin entity and not the green tile plugin entity. 
From the Specific Info section of the Role Configuration pop-up wizard, choose the Genetech Clearance Integration plugin type. If you do not see the clearance plugin in the list, the plugin may not have been installed. Try to run the installation again and restart the Genetech server service once it is completed. The server that will be hosting the role must also be selected. If you're not using expansion servers on your system, you will not see this option. Click Next, then name the role and give it a description from the Basic Information section. If you have partitions set up on your system, you can also choose a partition for the plugin role. Click Next again to see the creation summary. If anything needs to be changed, hit the Back button, otherwise click on Create to finalize the role creation. Once you receive the message that the operation was successful, click Close, and you'll now see your new role in the entity list. Since the role has not been configured to talk to a specific clearance account, the role will not be online at the moment. Click on the role and choose the Properties tab. Then within the Configuration field, click on the Menu button to set up the connection to clearance. If this field is grayed out and the button is not clickable, the clearance plugin may not be included in your system license. Go to the home page, click on About, and check the certificates to see if clearance is included. If the part is included in your system, which can be verified on the GTAP, you may simply need to download a new license key and activate it from your server admin. Once you have clicked on the menu button, browse to the .json file we saved earlier and select it. The configuration field will update with the name of the tenant and the role will become active. The name of the role should be in white at this point. While video files are being exported from Security Center and uploaded to clearance, they are held in a temporary files folder. By default, this is set to the program data Genetech Clearance Integration folder on the C drive, but this can be changed from the Role Properties tab. Apply the changes and your plugin will be ready to use. If you wish to add any additional servers for the role to use in a failover capacity, these can be configured in the Resources tab of the role. In order for users to be able to access the Clearance plugin features and tasks, they must be granted the appropriate privileges in Security Center. They must have access to the Security Desk and be able to monitor cameras, but will need one additional privilege for clearance. Under the Action Privileges, Expand Cameras, and allow the privilege for Send to Genetech Clearance. Click Apply when the change has been made and have the user log off and back on for the change to take effect. When exporting video from a Security Center camera to Genetech Clearance, there are a couple of restrictions that need to be kept in mind. The maximum length of a video clip is 24 hours. If you try to export anything longer than that, you will receive an error message warning you of the one-day time limit. There is a limit of 5 export and 5 upload operations that can be active at any given time. Since all files are secured while in transit, large files may seem unresponsive while they're being encrypted before being uploaded. There's no feedback on the encryption process, so give it some time and the upload should start on its own. To export video from the security desk to clearance, right-click on the tile showing live or playback video and choose Send to Genetech Clearance from the menu. From the pop-up menu, choose one of the three options. Select Existing Case, Create a New Case, or Skip and Upload Evidence. If Select Existing Case is chosen, you'll be presented with a search window where you can type in any text to find a case. The text can be from the case title, the record number, incident number, or any tags associated with a case. Click on Search and all cases that have that text will be displayed in the list below. Select a case and click OK, or try a new search if the case you're looking for was not included in the list. The case identity information will be displayed next. Expanding the Add File Information section will allow you to name the video file you're uploading, give it a description, and change the start and end times of the video clip. By default, the length of the video clip will be 2 minutes. Click OK to confirm the file upload, and you'll receive a message that the video has been queued for upload. Open the notification icon in the system tray to view the progress of the video encryption and upload. This notification section can be pinned to the side of the task, in case you want to send a lot of video and are monitoring the progress. 
When sending video to clearance, if the Create a New Case option is selected, you will be prompted for the name of the case, the department to assign the case to, and the category of the case. Expanding the Add Case Information section allows you to set the incident start time, incident number, record number, and description of the case. In the Add File Information section, you can give more details on the video file being uploaded as we saw previously, such as the name, start and end time, and description. Click OK to create the case, upload the video, and associate the video with the case. The status of the transfer can be tracked using the notification tray information. To modify other case information, such as the user permissions and the case location, the case can now be opened in the Genetech Clearance Service and changes can be made. Finally, when choosing to send video to clearance, we have the option to skip the case association and upload the video right to the clearance file section. Selecting this option will prompt you for the same file information we have seen previously, but no case information is displayed here. Make a note of the name of the video file so you can find it within the Genetech Clearance Service and associate it with a case later on if needed. Once the files have been uploaded to the Clearance Service, they will be removed from the temporary folder and more video files can be sent from the Security Center system.